This thing's been running bad. And when it's running bad, I'm feeling bad. been backfiring and carrying on I, I don't know what to do I'm not gonna put any more points in this thing I'm done with that I'm done changing points I'm done changing condensers and setting gaps I'm gonna go ahead and put HEI distributor in it let's get this thing in the shop so instead of fixing this thing like I should I should put some more points in it change the plugs change the wires give it a good tune-up I'm not gonna do that I'm gonna throw some new parts at it we got a HEI distributor and I think that's gonna be good I'll, I'll get rid of this coil get rid of this ballast resistor yeah and also I can get rid of some parts of my toolbox I can take out distributor caps condensers all that stuff I can just get rid of it so we're gonna do it the easy way with HEI I use the Motorcraft SP405 spark plugs in my 351 Windsor I'm gonna start by gapping these somewhere between 50 and 55 thousandths and looks like Right from O'Reilly's, they're about uh, 40 thousandths. And close enough with this one. So here's a tip. Unhook your battery. <laughs> Take the negative terminal off. You're messing with any wiring so you don't get electrocuted. I'm just gonna start by throwing the new plugs in. Off we go, damn it. Ah, oh, shit. Almost like those plug wires were cooked on there. I'm gonna loosen these up and I'll take them out by hand. I don't know if that's good or bad. <laughs> Looks okay. I don't know, we're changing them anyway. Hey, in case anyone's interested in the 351 Windsor fire in order. Uh, 18456273 uh, on our Ford. This left front is the number one cylinder. 2345678. Get rid of this spaghetti monster. That thing goes. All right, so I need to spin this to the number one, and so I'm gonna spin this rotor uh, till about right there. See, I got some previous markings, and I'll check on my, my little indicators to make sure I'm number one cylinder. Well, I'll just stick this back on here. I use the key here. Yeah. Oh, too far. I see it. And, I don't know if anyone can see that TC on that mark. I need to spin it just a touch. That's pretty close if you see that TC. All right, let's unbox some stuff. Amazon over oh, packages in there. <laughs> I might have to get a smaller air filter. This thing is huge. I'm wondering how I'm supposed to see the rotor button and everything. This is kind of new to me. I'm going to have to take this apart. Yep, plug wire. So I'm on the workbench with this giant thing. I need to get the rotor exposed so I can see which cylinder we're pointing at. I don't know how to do that, but it looks like these little bars here, they might swing out of the way by sticking something in there and maybe this whole assembly comes off. I also have this going on. <laughs> this kit didn't come with any kind of plug like this, but this one says tack. 
And this one says battery, it's, that's simple enough. I'm gonna get rid of this bias resistor here because uh, everything I say about the HEI distributors, we do not need a ballast resistor. Yeah, see what's going on? It's like spring-loaded. You stick a screwdriver down in there and you turn it. <laughs> like so. All right, that's easy enough. Whoa. And it falls apart. All right. I <laughs> got my rotor cap off. And now I got this big, big giant rotor here. All right, that's easy enough. Keep up with that. You'll never find another one of them. Something bad happened right there when I pulled it out. I had my little oiler in there. Oh, my oil pump rod came out with it. I don't know how good that is. I'm gonna, I'm gonna reset and take a look for a second. My little oil pump rod right there tried to come out with the distributor. It looked like it fell back down in the right spot. So <laughs> I don't know, I'm gonna call it good. So do yourself a favor, all this junk that you take off, keep it handy. All this Chinese shit you put on there is gonna fail and leave you on the side of the road. You're gonna end up putting this old stuff back on. Ask me how I know. All of this kinda looks the same. The gears look the same. I don't know, I think it's gonna work. The, the oil pump looks the same. All right, I'm gonna lube this and, and throw it in the truck. I can't get this thing the rest of the way in, that last quarter of an inch. I think when the oil pump shaft came out, uh, it may have not fell back in or something. I gotta figure out how to, how to pull that thing out and wiggle it around till it falls back into place. I think I'm gonna use like, I think I'm gonna try to capture it <laughs> with this piece of fuel hose, but I'll let y'all know how that works. I can't, I can't film this, it'd be too much on me. I finally got that thing seated. I had to take this device here, which is a, a plastic hose and a screwdriver and adjust that little oiler rod until it fell back down into place. What a pain that was. Okay, I'm gonna get back at it. All right, there it is. I, I think I got the order right. If it'll, if it'll crank up, we'll, we'll set the timing and, and hopefully this thing will work good. All right, big moment here. If this thing will start, we will we'll set the timing. We're close. I want 15 degrees. That's it. That's 15 degrees. I'm gonna lock it down. I'm gonna put it up for the night and uh, tomorrow's gonna be my favorite part and that's making all this junk look pretty. I'm up early. So I need to make this look pretty. I'm having a problem with the air filter clearing this big giant HEI I just put on here. I was thinking about putting like a carburetor spacer in. I need bigger studs, but I think for now, uh, I'm just gonna figure out a way to make the air filter higher. I quit while I'm ahead. Those are some ugly welds. So in an attempt to get the air cleaner up top, I booger welded this metal strap here to raise the breather up a little bit and welded this together. Kind of made the little bolt longer for the cleaner. That might be too long, but I can always cut that.
Well, it's a little prettier. Let's see if we can get it started and we'll, we'll have a rip. Scratch the tires here. better. I'll take it. <laughs> 